to have done a commentary, so has Chris Entrapped. So I thought maybe it was my turn. Um, so I will start with this shot we have here. One with uh, the moon behind Bubble Towers, which is my small house. Um, green screen was somewhat too large. So um, we had to think of another way of doing things. And it wasn't easy. To get a green screen behind my house would have been impossible. You'd need one 200 foot wide. So if we go to daylight, and um, you'll see how it was done. Yes, we have a large cardboard cutout of the moon with a tower frame, uh, which had to lift it onto a large hoist. And um, that way, with pulleys and whatnot, we were able to uh, get the moon to move across the sky. It was somewhat difficult, but we couldn't find a big enough green screen anyway. Let's go into my house now, and um, we'll have a look in there to see what we have to talk for you next. Okay. Well, hello. Here we are in my house, and uh, what I really wanted to show you is uh, the paintings on either side of the wall. Uh, don't take notice of the ghosts, they just pop up when they feel like it. Uh, this is an actual video of uh, in Terry's house, or Welcome to Terry's house, which uh, was one of my second videos on here, I believe. Anyway, take no notice of those gods, they don't they pop out all over the place. Uh, the particular painting I would like to show you and talk about is the one on the right hand side there of Eli Eaters. You see, we, we really wanted one that had life in it. It was actually painted by Eli East. It's an oil painting, an original. Uh, it's her self-portrait. She is my significant other and so I know her quite well and she gave me permission to use it. And uh, Well, as I said, we wanted a painting with life in it. It does have life in it. The thing moves. Look, look at this. Whatever next? Don't know what came over it. Here's the young, here, here's my good lady, Eli East. Uh, we will show her to you. Here she is. As you see, it is a self-portrait painted by herself. She's done a wonderful job, I think. Um, she's a lot. She looks a lot better in real life, as I'm sure you'll agree. You, she does have a channel on live video, and uh, it's worth giving her, her a look. Make some lovely little music videos. Anyway, um, now we'll go over to uh, down into the dungeons of Bubble Towers, uh, to the hub of the BBC, the Bubble Broadcasting Company, uh, where. I sh where you saw me talking about the Baron Dixon video, uh, the um, well, we'll see. We'll you'll see when we get there. I'll show that to you anyhow. Here we go. Well, here we are in the dungeons, and uh, quite cosy little dungeon it is as well. Um, before we had it converted uh, to the hub of the BBC, it we had a few tenants still here so we didn't really know what to do with them so we just threw them in the swamp at the back of the house and they weren't no good for anybody and they were a terrible music made terrible noise and well you can't really broadcast with all these screams and agonizing sounds are going on so we just done away with them you know anyway uh, this is where all the broadcasts of the BBC come from. Uh, how we've done all this, it isn't a fix. We had electricians in here for a few months, fitting it all out with flashing lights. I don't know what they do, but they there for a reason. Putting all the video monitors in, and I just sit there in comfort and see what's going on. 
And uh, as you think with this one, I wasn't too happy with what I saw. Paul uh, Baron, uh, his statue, uh, well, the tyrant, should I say, his statue got blown up, and well, that's terrible news. Um, anyway, uh, so in future, if you ever see this film, you'll now know where it is and and what it is. So this is the control centre of the Bubble Broadcasting Company and um, I think that'll be it for now. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again all very soon I hope. Bye bye.